Please give it up for Aliyah Libanow. It's 2.30 in the morning. I am walking about, I'm, it's, it's really late and I'm, I'm walking and I have my, I, I have my heels and I'm about, I'd say about a half a mile to my hotel room and I'm in my cute little black dress and um, that cute little black dress is covered in cum. Let me explain how I got there, guys. So about two, about well, last year, uh, I'm, had grad, I had graduated from college in 2010, and out of, out of a whim, I, I moved up to Portland, and I didn't really have too much going on. Um, I worked at a really shitty job. I worked at Starbucks, and it, was, it wasn't what I wanted, and I, Worked at, I uh, went to beauty school for a week. <laughs> and every, and then unfortunately within that year, I had an ex-boyfriend that was just really shitty and just, he was awful. And it just, that year wasn't, it just was, it wasn't going well for me. And so I was trying to, to hope for what's going to, what's going to, be better. Like I'm hoping for something better because I don't want to work at a really crappy job and with a boyfriend that's with an ex-boyfriend that sucks. So near the end, I'd probably say around August or so, I was feeling a little bit better. Um, I transferred to another store. The ex-boyfriend was getting out of my life, and I it wouldn't, I don't know. I was feeling better, and so um, my birthday's in October. It's actually two weeks ago. So. Um, <laughs> Not a big deal. So, um, so it was my birthday, and I decided I was like, well, I want to do something. Like, it's my 25th birthday. Like, I need to go big. That's part of the deal. So, so I decided, well, you know, since I had this crappy year, let me just do something fun with my with my really good friends. So, um, the day before, like, my birthday's on the 14th, and so the day before. Um, we just kind of went out, just, we kind of, my friends and I went to this, <laughs> this karaoke bar called Asia Gardens in Beaverton. <laughs> You've heard of it, okay. Um, <laughs> it's gross. So it was fun and it was just, it was something, it was just, I got drunk and it was fun. I was with my friends who I really enjoyed and liked and, um, and then like the ex-boyfriend kind of unfortunately got a hold of me and um, sexting unfolded, which is something that is what our relationship is. And, uh, and it just was kind of, I was used to it, but I, didn't, I was at that point where I was like, I'm already like so drunk, it doesn't matter. So the next day, my friends and I went to Ashland and it was fun. We went to this really great pizza place and um, we just kind of had fun and we, we had like our own hotel room and we got drunk, it was fun, we went partying, and we went dancing. The whole night, I was texting this boy who I had previously done stuff with, and, and I was like, well, I'm 25, I need to get fucked. It's necessary, thank you, it's necessary. That's what you do on your 25th birthday, I'm sorry. So, so we've been texting back and forth, and it's and before it's like I texted him probably around like ten or eleven, and he's like, oh, I don't know, Aaliyah, and I'm like, I'm here, I'm sorry, like I drove all the way down, it's time, so, <laughs> and so it, and then he kind of like he kindly got it, he 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 got it, he's like, oh, okay, Aaliyah wants to do stuff again, and okay. And then the more, I mean, it would got a little bit more inappropriate as the hours went by and more alcohol was ingested. And so it was like really inappropriate stuff happening via text. And so I was with my friends and they were driving. So I was like, uh, I told them like, could you drop me off at the SOU tennis courts slash <laughs> baseball field slash dorms, please? 
And they're like, Elite, come on. I'm like, ah, you don't understand. Let me tell you something about this guy. He is Native American slash Mexican, and Native Americans have really big dicks, so <laughs> I was okay with that. And so I had to, like, I really had to explain to them, like, you don't understand, like, he has a fucking huge dick. Like, I need this. Did you know about my year that I had? I need this. And they're like, whatever. They were like, just do it and come home. Fine. Thanks. So they dropped me off at the, at the I mean, it was dimly litted. And I could see the, at the baseball field and then the tennis courts and the dorms were a little bit further away. And it was great. And he was hiding behind a tree. He was so romantic. And then they, my friends, they, they're like, okay, we'll call us. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I, I didn't care. I wanted to get it in. So I, so we, we met, we like instantly like, it was like magnetic between us. It was, it, I mean, we had already done it. We were already like comfortable with each other. So, I mean, not the fact that it was like the digital era. So it was like, oh, this is great. It was like, it was great. So we met and my underwear was instantly off within like one or two minutes. It was wonderful. And then we just, we're, but, it, we, but since we're like, it's the dark and it like, we didn't know which, what, you know, which area was best. So we tried it the next to the tree. Like we tried like making out near a tree and he tried to go out my skirt and I was just, it, it was, felt awkward. And then we went on the ground a little bit and we tried again, nothing, no penetration yet. So we're trying and we're just like, I'm like, this is weird. Like, let's figure this out. Let's make it a little bit more romantic. And he's just like, how about the tennis court ticket booth? Perfect. <laughs> That's great. So we go there. And because of this guy that has this huge dick, he, he's great in the sack. So, and he, I mean, when I say... This was pornographic, triple X, it was. <sighs> I felt like I was being filmed and I had to perform. Like I'm usually really super awkward and weird in bed and I like the guy to do it all for, you know, I just like lay there, I'll be honest. I just lay there. And I, it's the guy's work, I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> Thank you. So, but, but this time, this time, because I hadn't had it in like a long time and it was the, and I was like, this is great. And so, I mean, he just lifted my, my dress up and then he just plowed into me. I mean, I mean, it was a little bit of, of, you know, touching, but like he plowed into me. And it was, and usually, like I said, because I'm so awkward, I don't talk, and I'm, you, you know, I'm just like, I don't know, I usually make like, oh, this is great. Like that face, I don't know, I usually make that face. But when he was, when he was saying, when he was saying, oh, I li oh your, your clit is so nice, or oh, I like touching your pussy or something, I was like, you know, normally I'd be like, okay, but this time, I was like, oh yeah, I like your cock too. It's great. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you want to suck my cock? Of course I do. I love sucking your cock. <sighs> and it was, I mean, even an anal slippage was okay. It was fine. He slipped it in and it was fine. I didn't care. It was great. And I mean, it was, we moved around that whole ticket booth. It was wonderful. <laughs> So then he, um, he came, and when I, and I lit, I felt like I was just drenched in cum. <laughs> he has like an eight or nine inch dick. There's a lot of cum in there, I'm sorry. So I felt, I mean like, like a gentleman, he helped me find my underwear, <laughs> and um, he helped me find my glasses. <laughs> and then I remember, he's like, Aaliyah, I was like, what? And he's like, Aaliyah, shh. I was like, what are you, what, what? He's like, shh, shh. And I'm like, what, what? And he's like, I can hear laughter. 
excuse me? He's like, no, I can hear laughter. And, I, and I, like, we just looked at each other, and <laughs> I heard the laughter. <laughs> it came from the dorms. <laughs> They saw it. I mean, I couldn't take it back. <laughs> There's no way. I was just, I kind of looked at him and I giggled and I was just like, well, at least they had a good show. I mean, I, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he's so classy. So, um, so then he, again, he's a perfect gentleman. He let me walk two miles to my hotel room. <laughs> He went home, and again, 2.30, 3 in the morning, I'm walking with my heels about a half a mile away from my hotel room, and I'm just like drenched in cum. I have my mascara running all over my face. My lipstick has just gotten all over, smeared all over my face. My hair is just, it, it's pretty obvious that I got fucked in the ass. It looked, it looked like that. It looked like it. It looked like it. And so I arrived in my hotel room, and I mean, my, my friends and I, we gabbed and we talked, and I'm just like, you never guess what I did. And they're just like, you, I know you did this already. And I'm like, uh, it's great. And I remember just like, even with how disgusting I looked in the mirror with my mascara and like my lipstick, and just, I just looked so like, <laughs> I looked pretty funny in the mirror, but I remember looking in the mirror for the first time in a long time when I smiled and I felt really good about myself. <laughs> Thank you. 